Sean Parr hanging out with Bryce Jersey, uh, Jergy, and Bryce. All of, all I want to do is go fishing. You know, we were ice fishing last week in Min- Minneapolis, and uh, we've been snowed in for what two, three weeks now. And all I want to do is go catch a largemouth bass. I want to be in one of our beautiful kayaks from a Gander RV Outdoor or Camping World and just be on a river somewhere because you yes. see all this great footage. Matter of fact, we're going to talk about winter camping coming up in just a moment. We are. We are. Yeah, I, I know. Seeing that last spot, I'm just like, I just want to get out. Yeah. And hopefully you guys are feeling that. There's just so much, so many future memories that are going to happen as you get one of these rigs or any of the equipment here that's provided. And, you know, we talk about winter a lot because we are, uh, you know, wherever we are right now, being in Wichita, Kansas, and uh, it being cold, they've had record temperatures here that they haven't (laughs) seen in decades. A lot of the locals have been telling us, and we've experienced that on this tour. We're going to continue that as we go to Portland, and then we uh, end up in Mesa, Arizona in a couple of weeks, and we look forward to that. But it's almost spring. I mean, I, I can see it out there. You know, you start looking it. ahead at some of those temperatures, and we got to get spring and RV season ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just amped. I'm excited for that. Yeah, and here's the cool thing: we're going to get into what we like to call our staff pick, and I know that Nellie is all about this too because uh, she had a chance to preview this. But our staff pick is one that we think that you will really enjoy inside and out. We're going to take a look at the Forest River Saber, and this is the 37 FLH. Take a look. Hey everybody, I am Ian Baker and I'm joined by my good friend Kenda. And as we start to wind down this amazing week, we of course couldn't finish it off without doing our staff pick. And Kenda here has picked an awesome unit. We have the Sabre 37 FLH. Kenda, <laughs> wonderful pick. Tell me a little bit about it. Why'd you pick this one? Uh, what's not to love? It has everything. <laughs> That's true. That it is has true. everything. I'm super excited. There's so much storage space. I can bring all my shoes. Yes. <laughs> I, I like shoes. Hey, there's nothing wrong with I that. I don't know if it's going to be rainy, whatnot. There you so go. I always bring everything. That way you can dress for the occasion, right? I just, I always bring everything. And so I have room to do that. Um, yeah. So that's one of the things I like. And it's just so easy with that auto level. Uh, all of yes. those things that normally my husband has to really work at. <laughs> uh, now he can relax. There you as go. Well, well that's, that's one of the things I do love. And, and what Kendo was talking about is right here, the auto level. And again, Ken, I agree that I, I love it. You just touch a button. It does mm-hmm. everything else for you. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it just really does kind of simplify the process, right? Of having to get out there. Mm-hmm. And because that's the last thing you want to worry about when you're right. setting up, you know, you drop, you don't have to, man, you can just walk right underneath yeah, there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't have to worry about anything. Just touch a button and you are good to go. Um, Absolutely. And, and what do you think about the exterior? How do you like the colors here? I love the colors, and I just like the name Sabre. Right? I just, it has a catchy ring to it. Yeah, it does. Um, it's just a super sleek. I love mm-hmm. that it has five slides. Okay. Um, I love the outdoor kitchen. Yeah. Uh, I just think it looks cool. Yeah, I, it's got a I, lot I agree. Of cool lights and stuff like that. Now, do you have a pet at all? I have three dogs. See, yeah. there you go. So the leash mm-hmm. latch is perfect, right? Absolutely. You can put the dogs right there. They're underneath the awnings. Mm-hmm. They have a little bit of shade. Maybe, mm-hmm. you know, hide underneath the stairs. Plenty of room right there. Absolutely open this guy up take a look at some of the storage Mm -hmm. and so one of the other things kenda uh, that i really like is Uh the slide system right so we have the schwintech slide system on Mm -hmm. here and i like it because you have your control box right here so that way you know in the in the event it ever fails Mm -hmm. you have the controls be able to you can basically switch these around to reverse the motors which a lot of times will fix it otherwise you can pop a code hit that six times hold it on the seventh it'll tell you exactly what's wrong so you can call Mm -hmm. in and you'll be able to get that slide right in in no time so from That's a, awesome. Yeah, from a you know a maintenance standpoint, I guess, or a troubleshooting standpoint, you know they, they definitely do some mm-hmm. great things on the slide systems. Yeah, so you're just not going to be worried about being out somewhere and not being able to to get your slides in, right? Um, without having to rely on somebody else. So. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. And, and this is a this is a big unit. I mean, we're like. Uh, a little over 42 foot on this one. Mm-hmm. As far as weight, what do we have for weight? Uh, 12, little under 12,000 pounds is what we're looking at. So mm-hmm. yeah, you know, I mean, whether it's the slide system, whether it's the, the auto leveling, we wanna make sure we're not gonna be stuck out there. Mm-hmm. And uh, they definitely do some things to aid in that. Now, I know you talked about the outside kitchen. Walk yeah. me through a little bit about what we got back here. Well, one of the things that I really love, and I do kind of mention it to my, point it out to my customers. Yeah. So the awning kind of ends right here. Yes. And I just remember once a customer came in and they were kind of brought down because they didn't think about, they had no shade for their outside kitchen. So they were, you know, so I remembered that. And so I always point that out that even if your awning 
doesn't stretch. You still have this. Plus, yes. it, it helps with rain. Yeah, everything absolutely. else. It's kind of a little mm -hmm. drizzle. And then I really like how residential the outside kitchen is. Yeah. I mean, they for could, sure. It's. I, I like that they took the time to um, go with the champagne tone, brush nickel on the on yes. the kitchen hardware. It's it's beautiful. They could have went with chrome, but they you know want something a little nicer there. Well, I noticed like even like the the dark sink and, mm -hmm. and some of the other things are just unique to the Sabre where yeah. everyone else has got like stainless steel or whatnot, right. which is nice, but For sure. it just makes it pop, I think. Yeah, no, I agree. And you know, it's, it's stone cast, so it's gonna be nice and strong, uh, very durable. You're not gonna see scratches as easy oh, as you would true. on something that's like stainless. And mm -hmm. the shiplap wall I talked about being I residential, like I kind of like that look yeah. too on the outside kitchen. Absolutely. It's pretty sharp. Yep. And then, uh, you know, the, the quick connect, so if you are grilling or anything, mm -hmm. you know, that's what makes it, of course, the full kitchen there. Yeah, my husband loves that feature. <laughs> sure. He likes to cook his meat. You gotta that, have meat. You have to, you right? Have I, I'm Absolutely. the same way. I love cooking outside. <laughs> yeah. You know, I love grilling, hook my mm -hmm. grill up right there and mm -hmm. fire away. It makes it easy, too, with the propane. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I, on the back, there is a 300-pound hitch back there, too. So if you ever need to bring anything along, mm -hmm. um, you know, like extra bikes, you can put a bike rack in there, anything like that. Uh, yeah. So there's definitely some great extra features, but mm -hmm. I don't know about you, Kenda. I'm getting a little chilly. Should we head inside? I think check, we should. Check out the inside? Let's go to the... Uh, let's head fire. on in. I know the fireplace is going to be on. Awesome. <laughs> That's right. I love the stairs coming up, too. The more ride steps, mm -hmm. nice and stable. You know, I mean, I, I'm not a small guy. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm well over 200 pounds, and those steps, you know, I don't feel them flex as I'm, I'm walking up and down, which right? I like. Absolutely. And this... This is what it's all about. It. This is where it's at. You talked about kicking back mm -hmm. and relaxing, getting nice and Absolutely. comfy. I love the feature, the little accent lights. Yes. I just, I don't know. I get excited about those lights. Yeah. And they're, they're everywhere. It, 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 adds, it adds a lot to just the overall appeal, you know, just the overall mm -hmm. aesthetic. Um, mm -hmm. You know, having that in, behind the, the trim, behind your molding there, you know, it, it does a couple things. And, and I talk about this a lot. Like I, for one, I like having a lot of light, um, mm -hmm. you know, especially when it's nighttime. I don't like when an RV feels dark, when I feel closed in. Mm -hmm. And so anything you can do to add more light makes me a happy person. And, and not only does it make it brighter, but like you said, it mm -hmm. just adds a lot to the, the appeal itself. The ambiance. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Absolutely. And then another mm -hmm. thing I like, you know, the zebra shades mm -hmm. kind of aid in that too, right? Because, you mm -hmm. know, you can kind of adjust the amount of light you want. Yeah, cool. And it's just stylish too. Instead of just the plain, yes. you know, no curtains, just your blackout. You, it's like stylish and functional. Yeah, correct. Which makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, I know we talked earlier about, um, you know, about the, the tri-fold sofas. And, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of one of the neat things about having the front living is if you want mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, to have people stay the night, you mm -hmm. have the ability to do it. Right. If you don't want them to stay the night, you, you just don't tell them yeah. beds. <laughs> well, I have a lot of customers that talk about that. No, we don't want any bunks or extra beds. People will just want to come all the time. Yeah. So now um, you, you can tell them that they fold out or not tell them that they fold out. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And, and you have two. So, I mean, you, know, you mm -hmm. can fold, you can sleep, you know, four adults up here if, if you really needed to, you know, mm -hmm. which uh, I like that from the standpoint of, you know, and I always talk about when I talk about RVs from my experience, right? So sure. like, like how it works for me and, and most people when they're out shopping, that's kind of how they look at things and it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But for me, you know, if, if uh, you know, like for grandparents, you know, that may right. have grandkids come and visit them. Right. Well, they're gonna need beds for grandkids. They're gonna need beds for the kids. And mm -hmm. with something like this, you know, this is still for grandma and grandpa, mm -hmm. but when the kids come, you have a spot for them to sleep. Right, and what I love too is like, even like your older kids, mm -hmm. um, it's hard for me to get my son. He's work goes to school working. Yep. So if he comes with, I just treasure the moments that we can sit in here and watch a movie with him yeah. and stuff like that. So movie night's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, you know, nice big TV too. You know, mm -hmm. speaking of movie night, um, yeah, the big TV there, of course, mm -hmm. multimedia center. You can just hook up a Blu-ray player, or whatever, to it. The fireplace, mm -hmm. getting nice and toasty. I yes. like the colors too. You can change yeah. the colors. Yeah. Here, I'll let me hit it real quick here. Oh, see if yeah. we can. There it's we all go. about the little bit of that yeah. or go full blue. Right. A couple different color options there. Yeah, it's pretty I think, cool. I think that's awesome. And it's warm too. Yeah. Yeah. Like absolutely. It's not just pretty. It really does heat. Yeah, for sure. And then, you know, right here, this is probably my favorite seat of the house, right? If I had to pick somewhere to be, right. I don't know about you, Kenda, but this is me right here. Theater seats, mm -hmm. have the massage on, have the heat on, kick absolutely. back, relax. 
like you say, perfect for movie night. Mm -hmm. And when it's cold out like this, I love that you can be inside and there are so many windows. You can look yes. at the pretty snow. Yes. You can have your fire. You can be in, in your heated chair. With have your, your dog snuggled hot, up in hot here. Hot chocolate and your doggies. I mean, Man, you're, pa you're painting an awful beautiful picture. Man, that's, <laughs> that's what I love. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, up here, this is something that's a little bit newer too. You know, we talk about kind of having that that movie night, having that home theater experience. Mm -hmm. And they have a subwoofer in here, which oh is gosh. yeah, which is something that you know a lot of wow. times you don't get in an RV. So you have a little bit better sound system in there too. So mm -hmm. makes movie night just a little bit better. For sure. Well, should we head down into the kitchen? Okay, let's yeah. do it. And I like these curtains too. Yes. Yeah. That, right. Like like you kind of said, it, it's stylish. It's not mm -hmm. too much, right? Mm -hmm. It's like just right. You have the AC unit up top with the yep. quick dump option right there. And a ceiling fan. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah, and as we, as we make our way back, I mean, this is another cool thing. So how many slides total does this unit have? This unit has five slides. Okay, okay, because we, yes, we have two mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, two here, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and one of the cool things about this, the fact that you have your dine or your uh, freestanding table and chairs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of in its own little, uh, its own little slide here. And they're you got comfortable. windows all the way around. They're comfortable too. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, can sit down here and, and, and you have enough room. You know, you have plenty of room if you have four people here. Absolutely. You want to play games, you want to play cards, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. have the ability to do it. And uh, I mean, beautiful kitchen. I like that they just, everywhere you look, there's the accent lighting. Yeah. Um, I've, I'm in love with the windows. Most yeah, of, right up top there. I, hardly ever do you see the, uh, the skylight type windows yeah. um, in, the, in the middle, in the center kitchen but I love that extra natural light. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it, de it definitely brightens it up during the day. Beautiful light fixtures here. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, solid surface countertops. And mm -hmm. like you said, that, that accent lighting, right? Absolutely. I'm all about the lighting. <laughs> I, I hear you. <laughs> it, it, really, it really helps kind of set it apart. It makes it feel homey and yeah. just comfortable um, and cozy. Yeah. Yep, for sure. And I love the color of the sink. I do too. So I, 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 I'm glad you mentioned it, right? That's one of the things, um, and I, I, I believe they call it like a black stainless steel, right? And nice. I, you're starting to see it a little bit more on the residential end with mm -hmm. some of the refrigerators and other appliances. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that the RV industry is, is starting yeah. to adopt it and bring it in. Absolutely. Because um, I, I think it's really sharp. I just it think definitely... it's totally cool. Yeah. And you have the, the hand sanitizing stations. Yes. Well. Yes. It's, and that's, as we know, <laughs> you know, more than ever right now, mm -hmm. super important. It comes, mm -hmm. you know, comes built in right there, makes it nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Great prep space here, good storage all around. Look at all the pantries. Like yeah. how, many, how many pantries are there? Yeah, right, right you got, wow. I mean, this That's thing is one. absolutely massive right here. So you can see you have a ton of storage here. And, and one of the things, Kenda, that I really mm -hmm. like when uh -huh. manufacturers do is they don't bring the shelves all the oh, way the forward. Oh, the light came on. Motion sensor light. I love that. Um, I like when they don't bring the shelves all the way forward because it gives you a place if you have like a Swiffer, broom, or something oh, like that. Cool. It still gives you a place to put it because normally those, you know, mm -hmm. really tall items, you just don't have a spot to put them. That is amazing. I never realized that, but yeah. I definitely will pass that on to my customers. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <clears throat> and I like, you know, I, again, I, I kind of uh, like when the light is on, mm -hmm. how, you know, it kind of lights that up. It mm -hmm. gives it a cool effect. Yeah, totally. Plenty of space, you know, throughout. Mm -hmm. You got, you know, again, more countertop space here. Mm -hmm. Three burner cooktop. We saw that <laughs> inverter out front, and that oh, is yeah. dedicated to the fridge. That's a real refrigerator, too. Yes, it is. Residential style <laughs> refrigerator. <laughs> Whoop, it's still, I think it's still taped shut. It, oh, oh, there, there we, we go. go. Got it. Yeah, so brand two, new. <laughs> two freezers. Yes. You can pack that puppy up and not have to come back to town for quite a while. Th there you go. And that, that can be an important thing for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love the stainless. I just like the mixture of like the, the dark uh, stainless with the regular. Yes. It's just that mixture of, you know, country and city to come yeah. together and make it really, really uh, chic and cozy and happy. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, you know, because... A lot of manufacturers, and that's one of the things, you know, I, I appreciate, I think Sabre did very well. It's a lot of manufacturers are going a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes the units almost look washed out. And, yeah. you know, we've, and I've asked customers and we've done some polls and it's, it's kind of 50, 50 with what people want. Mm -hmm. And, and I like that, you know, you have a little bit more traditional wood, but like you said, they did a great job of bringing together, you know, mm -hmm. some of the contrast, some of the light, lighter and darker colors. Yeah. And they definitely made it work in here. Yeah. It just makes it feel comfortable and, and like you can live in it. Yes. You know, it's not like sterile or too too white or too brown. Yes. Um, you, anybody just feels relaxing. I agree. I agree.
And we talked a little bit ago about mm -hmm. a million pantries. I mean, there you go. There's another one, right? Some more space there. You have uh, a little space oh, here. A coffee bar. Yeah, exactly. Yep, coffee that's what bar. I was going to say. It's mm -hmm. perfect for a coffee bar mm -hmm. right there. Uh, USB ports need to mm -hmm. charge anything. More storage. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, when we talk about front living, you know, one of the things that people, I guess, don't always think about is kitchen space. But you have mm -hmm. a ton a of storage in here. You have a ton there's of space. There's more up there. Look at yeah, it. There's, there's more storage. Yeah, I right over here. I think there's like four pantries here. Yeah. You have more storage here plus mm -hmm. your charging stations. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's, yeah, there's storage all over the place. I love it. And I love that there's charging stations just about everywhere. Mm hmm um, because everybody has their phones and you yep. want to be sure and have everything charged up and ready for the next day's adventures. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Mm -hmm. I mean, more and more, you know, I mean, we, 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 it's kind of funny, right? Because we always, a lot of people talk about kind of camping and RVing right. and, and glamping, right? To yeah, get away. Um, I like glamping. But, but part of it is we also want to stay connected, right? It, it's Absolutely. hard for us not to. And so, you know, now we're starting to see the trend of, you know, a different uh, Wi-Fi extenders mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, LTE Mm -hmm. um, you know, devices so you can get the Wi-Fi no matter where you're at, mm -hmm. you know, charging stations all throughout for, for mm -hmm. exactly that reason. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what do we have here? Mm, it's a secret surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Is that a half bath? Yes, oh it my is. Thank yeah. goodness. I don't like people coming through into my bathroom. I, I agree. You know? um, especially, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, you got your personal things in there. And yes. Maybe yes. friends coming and you have to tuck it all away. So yep. I think that's a great idea. No, and, and I, I agree with you, especially with this setup, right, where you have mm -hmm. the bathroom on the other side of the bedroom. Right. Um, you know, I, I, I agree. I, I want a half bath, something that guests can use. I don't want mm -hmm. them to have to walk through my bedroom every single time. Right. Um, it's just, it's just, yeah, there's just something about mm -hmm. it. That's my, it's my personal space. And I love how it doesn't feel like too small, though, with the mm -hmm. high ceiling. I mean, look yes. how that ceiling is so high and it even has a, a skylight up there, too. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, you got a little fan up there. It's probably a good thing. Can, yeah. you, can you get it? Oh, 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 there it is. <laughs> yeah, so I still feel I still feel like I'm at a hotel almost. I don't feel at all like I'm in like a camper. I feel right. like I'm at a, a nice resort and I have all the comforts that I would want. Well, and it, it, I, I absolutely agree. And we're starting to see, you know, more and more of that too, kind of people that are you know, starting to live in their RVs, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're hitting the road. That's, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of seeing a big movement. And again, especially the last year or two, um, mm -hmm. where people are starting to full time. And, and like I said, for good reason. I mean, you mm -hmm. look around and you have, you know, everything yeah. you would have at home. You have a big mm -hmm. kitchen, you have solid mm -hmm. surface countertops, mm -hmm. ceiling fans, you know, a mm -hmm. beautiful, um, you know, lighting. I mean, yeah, it's incredible I, what they can do. Absolutely. Yeah, I am. Um, I work with lots of customers that are starting to think about full-timing it, and, mm -hmm. and it's definitely not roughing it no, whatsoever. No, no, I, I would not consider <laughs> it roughing it in something like this at all. And, and one of my favorite parts, Kenda, is, is mm -hmm. the affordability of this unit, too. I mean, Absolutely. You know, MSRP on this one's usually right around 80000 but realistically, you should mm -hmm. be able to pick it up for under sixty. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's... It, for lo this luxurious and the five slides and the exactly. bath and a half, I mean, that's really amazing that they can do all that. Yeah. Well, you, you, you picked a good unit. Mm -hmm. You picked a great one. Oh, good. Let's, let's come, head on back. Let's come to where my bathroom is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So big bedroom space here, too. Is that... A, that's a third AC. Is that a third? Yeah. You got lots of ACs. I think it's a second. Is I think it a, it's a second? second? I think it's a second. Well, at least I have it in my it's, bedroom. Yes, yes, that is that is yeah. absolutely true. Because um, you always want one in your bedroom, if possible. Yes, I, I absolutely agree. Um, because yeah, otherwise you know you don't want to sleep <laughs> when it's hot. No, you know? no, not at all. So I definitely love that. My favorite thing though is the his and her sinks. And that probably is why I picked this one because I, I love the his and well, let's Let's go take a All look. Right. Come on back. So this is mine. <laughs> and yeah. And that's his. That's We have good space. <laughs> yeah. But and look how, like, still you just have all this room. And so that's one of the things that, that I always do too, kind of whenever I talk about bathrooms, right, is I, I always do the, the toilet check I know and you the, do. the shower check. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I love your, I love watching your videos. Oh, thank you. I, that's so sweet. I, I really do. So, yeah, so that's, 
Well, because you know. So I, sit I, down. I want yes, to see you. Here do, we go. I need well, to see the. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm, it. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to forget this moment. <laughs> as I'm sitting on the toilet. <laughs> well, awesome, great memories. But of I me. do think of that every time I'm showing customer. <laughs> I make sure that they have room. Well, well, that's it. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I because I've been in a lot of RVs. I've been RVing enough. I mm -hmm. know that sometimes you know they're crammed into a corner, and right. I, you're kind of doing one of these. That's it's not what I want to do. So right. I want to make sure you know. We're, we're giving people the full experience. They're able mm -hmm. to see what, you know, mm -hmm. what you're going to be like here. Absolutely. And Make sure you're able to stand in the shower. Stand in the shower. Which, uh, you know. Uh, it, there's obviously no yeah, lots of I mean, in there. I, kinda, I, could be an, I could be an NBA player and still be able to shower in here. <laughs> yeah, I just love it. It's it's spacious. You can sit down. Mm -hmm. um, I love that it has a huge uh, skylight above there. Yes. So, again, it's just luxury. It's comfortable. I feel like I'm you know, somewhere relaxing on my vacation. Yeah. And I'm not like in a tiny, cramped, dark uh, RV bathroom. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and and, and even the shower, you know, talking about the shower too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can, I, I'm fairly broad in the shoulders and, and I can turn sideways no problem in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, yeah. it, plenty of space. And you talked about mm -hmm. the seat. One of the things that, and, uh, you know, it was, I don't know, probably five years ago or so that my wife brought up to me, I guess I never thought about. <laughs> was the fact that it's perfect for shaving legs, right? Oh, like, absolutely. You can put your leg up there, it makes life mm -hmm. a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I, never occurred to me, but I'm like, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's awesome, <laughs> definitely. And if you've had a big long day out hiking and biking, and yeah. even if you're not shaving your legs, yeah. you could still relax there and just, just uh, relax and uh, get all rested up kind of and recharge. get ready to jump into your king size bed there and you go. Um, well, li it, life is good and i'll tell you some of my best thoughts happen in the shower is that right Sh oh some of, some of my best ideas are created in the shower oh, I'm Sh shower thoughts are a thing i'm telling you you're amazing <laughs> oh, no. and look how pretty the vanity top is yeah and i have Beautiful. a lot of room yeah all, and all the way around most of this is my room too Yo, you get that too mm -hmm. okay, you're stealing all of it from me i have a lot of stuff that, that yeah that's uh, all uh -huh. all right i know prepared. how this goes i get yep. <laughs> Let's see, we'll open this up. I get I get the top, maybe the bottom shelf. That's fine. Yeah, that's all you need. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're roughing it, not this, me. This sounds all too familiar. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe how much space that is. Yeah, so, and, and mm -hmm. I love this too, right? Because you get washer, dryer prep. So we talked about people living in it. Mm -hmm. And some people, if they're planning on living in an RV, they don't want to have to worry about, you know, going to the laundromat. And this right here yeah. gives you that ability. Now, we found that more people than not mm -hmm. don't get washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want it, you have the ability there. And if you yeah. don't want it, you more just get shoes. a huge wardrobe. More, more, shoes. more shoes. There you go. More shoes. Shoes, shoes, <laughs> shoes. Yeah. I just love there are so many places to put your things. Yeah. Again, and the windows. Uh, and just the little touches, like the valance um, and, the, and the accent wall. I think it really makes it homey. Yeah. But, but upscale homey. It's still a nice sure. vacation. Yeah. And, and even like the, the barn style door. Yeah. Yeah. Great touch. It, again, you know, we talk about starting to bring in some of those kind of, uh, you know, things we start to see in, in mm -hmm. the residential side in the homes, you know, the mm -hmm. RVs bringing them in and kind of that farmhouse style right now is definitely taken over and it's, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. And, and like we said, you know, I don't think they went over the top. I think they have no. a good mix, a good blend That's here. what makes it. That's yep. what makes it. The, the mixture, um, that's what makes it feel livable. Yeah. And, and a king bed. I have a king bed at home. Mm -hmm. I want a king bed when I RV. You mm -hmm. have it here. You know, and right? all the dogs fit in there, too. There, there you go. There you go. You want a TV? You have a TV mm -hmm. right here mm -hmm. at the foot. And look, the, you can put your uh, your glass of wine next to your bed there. There you go. Now your, you're talking. Your, your reading glasses, whatever yeah. you need. I like that. I think that's super handy. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, yeah, nice little place to like say, put the phone, glass of wine, just kind of sit back and relax. And I just can't get over how tall the ceilings are. Yeah. No, they are. I mean, it's incredible. Absolutely beautiful. And that, that kitchen, I mean, it, just kind of everything about mm -hmm. this, right? You have mm -hmm. the big front living, mm -hmm. you have the beautiful kitchen, you have an outside kitchen, bath mm -hmm. and a half. Uh, Kenda, I think you did an amazing job picking Thanks. this unit. Again, this is the Sabre 37 FLH. If they want to get a hold of you, if someone sees this, they're like, this is the one, how do they get a hold of you, Kenda? Oh, just uh, give us a call at Gander RV here in Wichita, Kansas, uh -huh. and, and just ask for Kenda. Perfect. The glamping lady. The glamping lady. There it is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Kenda, thank you so much. Oh, thank I you. I appreciate it's it. It's been super fun. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. My name is Dan McKenzie. This is my wife, Lindsay. We're full-time RVers. We're in Breckenridge, Colorado, doing some winter camping. 
first five years of our marriage, we just traveled as much as we could. When we traveled, I just felt alive. I couldn't find that same feeling in anything else that I did. And we were in a small mountain town in North Carolina and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We were having an amazing weekend together and she just looked at me and she said, I don't want to go back. We have to figure out a way to make this something we can do. What if we could travel full time, take our house with us, take, take our, our dogs, dogs with us. But even when she said it, that seemed crazy. We started realizing that there was actually a community out there of other people from all different walks of life, all different yeah. age groups that were doing it. And then we just kind of said, we're doing it. We had done so much international travel, we had kind of neglected America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so once we started exploring America, we just fell in love. We have found a whole new happiness that I never knew we could find. Every place offers something different and unique and we literally fall in love with every place we go because there's just different culture and different um, attractions that we can check out. We really enjoy going to breweries at every place that we go. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of our favorite pastimes. We love, you know, checking out the dog parks and taking our dogs on hikes. Ice you know? fish. Ice fish, yeah. We're, we're going to try. Yeah, <laughs> that's another thing about RVing and the lifestyle is that you don't have to have a plan. Yeah. Like a lot of RVers you talk to, they'll, you ask, where are you going next? And everyone's like, I don't know, we might go here, we might go there. You can chase the weather and enjoy the seasons in the summer, or you know you can do winter camping. Coming back to Colorado in the winter is an awesome opportunity for us. Parks that we like to visit actually have less people during the winter. And then when we get really cold and we're tired of the snow, we can just head out, head out. and go chase a little bit warmer weather. I think the thing that probably surprised us the most about RVing was the community. But through the internet and through social media, I can't even believe how many friends that we've made and all the connections and the community that's out there that supports you. It's pretty incredible. It's so nice just to be around like-minded people and the friendships that we're building are lifelong friendships because we just share this unique bond. We call it our RV family because that's exactly what it feels like. The first risk that, like big risk that we took in our lives that led to a lot of other cool, exciting risks that we're taking now. We literally have a home on wheels, a traveling home. We don't live out of a suitcase like we used to when we would travel and take road trips. We've got everything with us and home really is where you park it. <laughs> and we just feel like we have the best of both worlds really, our adventure lifestyle, but also the comforts of home. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. The Ultimate RV Show National Tour, Woo! week number eight, day number three. Guys, it happened like that. I, know. I mean, seriously. So you know what's interesting is uh, we've uh, done the frozen tundra. I actually have to leave True. here. The fact that I made it to Wichita it is a was miracle. a miracle. You guys it all is. know sure. that. Yep. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to be. You're going to uh, walk home, right? Because yes. you got the proper. A, a, he know, is ready to walk home. I'm actually going to go going to go shovel some snow and <laughs> yeah. ice out of my driveway so I can get my cars out. My neighbor's going to pick me up in his four wheel drive to get me back home. So I'm looking forward to that. So yep, he needs the, the whole suit. The coolest thing is we have everything you could possibly need for winterizing, sure. for spring, to get your arms. RV ready. As a matter of fact, speaking of I think RVs, we should do an ultimate giveaway, Woo! Renee. Oh yeah, my it's favorite. Time. It is my favorite. All right, so somebody right now, if you register, right now is going to win an RV. And how do they register, Nelly? 
All they got to do is text URVS246642, and they could they could have won this RV. You yeah. know? They could have done it already. And the cool thing about it is you say, oh, well, I didn't get in in time. Listen, once you register now, you're in for the entire tour. Two more weeks. We've got Portland next week. We've got Mesa coming up, and we're really excited. We want to give you something for thousands of dollars. Here we go. All right. Do it, Sean. All right. Drum roll. Drum roll. Come on. Drum roll. Drum roll. We we're giving away... We are giving away a Coleman Lantern LT-17B. Oh, man. Okay, This is ready? our most For popular free. brand right now that we cannot even keep on the lots, and you're going to get one. Right? I can't see anything. My glasses are fogging so up. They're just so awesome because they can, you can pull them with anything. Yes, just, you can. Just such a nice, perfect, small trailer. So, without any further delay, in Sean Parr voice, <laughs> Rocky Pumpo! Yeah! 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 And the crowd yeah. here goes crazy as well. Rocky Papa, wow. congratulations. You got yourself an RV. Bryce, Nelly, the Jurgies, best part of the weekend so far? Rocky went in the RV so he can now travel with us. Yes, us there the you go. Um, Hit the road. His um, imitation of you ah. is pretty spot on. <laughs> yeah. Renee, best part of your weekend? Um, sorry, but, you know, being a Jurgies again. Yes! Oh, yeah. oh. Because they know it won't happen. <laughs> Sean, your favorite part of the weekend? Just getting to getting to hang out with everybody again, man. Just getting to spend this time yeah. and yeah. and just you know getting to grow closer with everybody and just have such a great time. The whole production team, everybody's just been wonderful. It's been a pleasure to be here with you guys. We and have the you, greatest. Go ahead, Bryce. Sorry, when you guys are watching on the stream, all your comments, it's fun reading those and seeing those as well. And yes, that brings up a good point. Not only did Rocky win. The RV. But one of you is going, uh, we are hiding an actual treasure, geocache treasure, for a free RV. What? And the clues for that are going on our Instagram at the Jurgies. So if you've been following along this Ultimate RV Tour, we've been hiding these throughout the states and getting people are winning $500 at Camping World. One's going to be for free RV. Yeah. Holy cow. Holy cow. All you got to do is go I find say. it. I think you guys said it perfectly. This is a family atmosphere. You are part of this family. And to think about this, oh, I, I wasn't going to get emotional, but seriously, all kidding aside, when you talk about eight weeks of being on, this, on the road and you got this amazing family of people that have tuned in, over 13 million of you now said, I want to be part of the Camping World Gander RV and Outdoor family. We can't thank you enough. Happy RV and let's get you on the road. We'll see you next week. Same place, same time from Portland in Oregon. And we look forward to seeing you. I'm Sean Parr on behalf of the Jurgies and the Flippin' Tilbies. Until we see each other next time, which will be next week. God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Yeah. yeah.